Hello, everyone, and welcome to lesson number 43. God is my source. I cannot see apart from him. Perception is not an attribute of God. So let's go with the first sentence. How beautiful. Perception is not an attribute of God. God is not about saying, well, okay, here's a pen. This is a pen. I see the form. That's not what God's about. God's not about the form. It says his is the realm of knowledge. Now, it's not about, oh, I know this or I've read this many books on pins or anything like that. It means that the knowledge of he sees the truth. He sees the truth of the pen. Okay. Yet he has created the Holy Spirit as the mediator between perception and knowledge. So with this, it's just saying that the Holy Spirit is able to see the forms like we do. Okay. And be and to translate them into knowledge, into truth, into seeing it with the eyes of a love. Without this link with God, perception would have replaced knowledge forever in your mind. With this link with God, perception will become so changed and purified that it will lead to knowledge. This is its function as the Holy Spirit sees it. Therefore, that is its function in truth. So once again, it's saying that we're going to, we're still going to see things. We're still going to see the pen and the pencil and the book and the paper and the statues and this and that. But our perception of them is going to be so purified that it's going to lead us to see the truth of them. In God, you cannot see. Now, for some people, this freaks them out. Well, I don't want to become with one with God. I don't want to not see anymore because, you know, once again, we think seeing is believing. We think what we see in the way of the pin and the cup and, you know, this and that, those things are real. That's not real. That's not the real things. Perception has no function in God and does not exist. Yet in salvation, which is the undoing of what never was, perception has a mighty purpose made by the Son of God for an unholy purpose. It must become the means for the restoration of his holiness and his awareness. So all this really means is that, like I said, we're going to, in God, there is no need for perception to see forms, okay? But since we do see forms and Holy Spirit will use whatever we see to help us to purify ourselves and purify our minds so that we can see knowledge again, that's all that's really talking about. It's just saying, okay, right now you are seeing only form. You're not seeing anything with knowledge. You're just seeing things with your eyes. You're not seeing the truth of them. And the Holy Spirit is here to help us to restore true vision. And remember, true vision means that I am seeing through the eyes of love. And I will always see through the eyes of love if I choose that as my source. Okay? And once again, it's all about your choice. You can choose to see with love. You can choose that because that's where you really are. In truth, you are in love. You are in the mind of God. You have never left the mind of God. You are only asleep and dreaming that you have, you know. I believe it was Marianne Williamson that said, um, and it was a, it's a quote from A Course in Miracles, um, but, you know, the reason that Jesus could do all the things that he could do, and it's only potential within us, is because he knew there was only love. We believe there was something else. That's the only difference between you and Jesus, is Jesus has and knows only love. You think there's something else. You think that there is something else being fear or anxiety or whatever the case is. And so it says perception has no meaning. Okay, yet the Holy Spirit gives it meaning or meaning very close to God's. Healed perception becomes the means by which the sons of God forgive his brother and thus forgive himself. You cannot see apart from God because you cannot be apart from God. So once again, God is my source. 
I am always in the mind of God. I only believe I am separate. I only believe I am this body. I only believe I am this ego. It is not a true statement. And there's a beautiful quote, and I don't know who said it or where I heard it from, but you don't have to believe everything you think. And that's really key with this, you know, believing you're just a body. And I actually want to kind of go into a personal parable with this. And, you know, talking about not just being the body or believing that the body is this or that. And so uh, we had enrolled my sister into Taekwondo and she was super excited. She learned to move and she wanted to demonstrate on the only person that was around at the time, which was me. And so she was like, oh, you know, so she got my mom into the living room and she told me, you know, how I was going to stand. And so she, you know, grappled me and, you know, we went down and then she started to be like, oh, you can't get out of this. And so she started to, to, you know, hit my ticklish spots and I was laughing and I was like, oh my, you know, get me out, get me out. And then something really interesting happened. I turned off my body and I know that's probably sounds super weird. But she was touching the parts of me that are super ticklish, like under my arms, for whatever reason, behind my ears, my belly, like touching those and, you know, getting me to laugh and be ticklish. But she was touching them and nothing was happening. Like I wasn't feeling that sensation It's because I kept on telling myself, and I have been, which is, you know, I am not just this body. My mind controls my body. My body does not control my mind. And she was getting so frustrated, being like, why aren't you laughing anymore? Come on, you know, and just trying to hit it faster. And, you know, thinking that that would do something. And it didn't. I just turned it all off. And it was the most amazing experience for me to see, oh my God, I am not my body. Like I'm really not. And it was just amazing to me. And that's basically You know, this lesson is helping us to remember God is our source. We are always in the mind of God. We only believe that we have left. And so that parable that I told you was, yeah, I believed I was a body. I believed I have all these ticklish spots. But now I can, I see that I really don't. I don't have any of them. I don't have to, they don't have to be active, if you will. So just really interesting. And I just wanted to share that. Uh, (laughs) you cannot see apart from God because you cannot be apart from God. Whatever you do, do in him because whatever you think, you think in his mind. If vision is real and it is to the extent to which it shares the Holy Spirit's purpose, then you cannot see apart from God. And so once again, you're always in the mind of God. It's just you believe that you're not. And that's it. So thank you so much for joining me. And I hope to see you in the next episode.